Hello everyone, my name is Oshi and today we will be learning about HCD in Kubernetes. Previously we have seen about HCD installation and learned how to interact with the HCD server. Now we will be seeing how HCD works inside Kubernetes cluster as we know that HCD is an open source distributed key value store and follows a raft algorithm to manage a highly available cluster. HCD is backbone of distributed system so projects like Kubernetes highly rely on it and uses it as a primary data store. Also, it is one of the important components of Kubernetes cluster as it holds a cluster state. In Kubernetes, API server interacts with HCD with the help of HCD Swatch API to monitor the cluster. And now, before going further, let's set up the lab by clicking on this lab setup button. Generally, a multi master node configuration uh, topology is followed for a production level Kubernetes. And in this kind of cluster, there are two ways to deploy HCD. First is a stacked HCD topology in which HCD is present inside the master node. Another is external HCD topology in which HCD is present outside the master node which provides an additional benefit for security. In Kubernetes cluster, HCD can either be present as a system daemon service or as a pod. But when Kubernetes cluster is installed with the help of kubeidm or minikube, it is present as a pod inside the kube system namespace. And this can be verified by executing kubectl get pods command, which will list out the pods present in the kube system namespace. And here, as you can see, HCD is present as a pod with name HCD master. You can also list out the configuration details of the HCD pod by running kubectl describe pod command, which will uh, show us uh, different details like labels this uh, HCD pod has, on which IP address this pod is serving, Along with the this, along with different certificate, uh, this HCD pod holds. We can also do an interaction with HCD pod like any other pod in the Kubernetes cluster with the help of kubectl exec. And the first operation I am going to do is to retrieve all the keys present in this pod with the help of get command. First, uh, for this I am going to specify the API version for HCD CTL along with different uh, certificate, and then uh, with the help of get command I am going to retrieve all the keys. Now after executing this command, uh, I will able to see all the keys present inside the HCD. Now as the list come up, now I will retrieve one of the key from this list and say its a value also what it holds. So for example, I am going to retrieve one of the secret uh, from this list. So let's say I am going to retrieve a secret name, a job controller, which is present inside the kube system namespace. Executing this command, you can see that I am able to get the details uh, of this secret key like what certificate and other details it is stored. But secret is generally has something, uh, any confidential information that should not be easily shared with everyone. But uh, if anyone has access to HCD, one can easily retrieve the details of secret also. So it gives a matter of security concern. So in further sessions, we will be seeing how to encrypt this secret so no one can access it easily. Uh, now I'm going to create my own uh, key value pair and going to put it inside the HCD and then going to retrieve it. For this, I am going to create a config map and then going to retrieve it from the HCD with the help of get command. We can also take the backup of HCD and restore it and this is generally useful when there comes any disaster scenarios like your Kubernetes cluster fails or any other disaster scenarios. First, I am going to install HCD client. After installing the HCD client, now I'm going to take the backup by specifying the snapshot uh, save command along with the location of the backup file on which I have to take the backup. We can also restore this uh, backup uh, by specifying the snapshot restore command along with the backup file location. And I'm going to also specify the data directory on which I want to take this particular backup file restore. You can check the restore by going to this particular location and as you can see the, that we have got the uh, HCD restore at this particular location. So as of now, we have seen how HCD works inside Kubernetes and saw how to take a backup of HCD and restore it. Thank you.